Check it out, friends. One minute early there. I bet you're all thinking, oh, he's going to be late again. But I'm not. One minute early. So I guess I uh, just get to sit here now until uh, till six. Oh, it's six now. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Platform 13. My name's Ian Higton. And I know I said I was going to play Uncharted The Lost Legacy for my next story stream, but I don't have it yet. And also, I'm not around Friday. Um, well, I am, but... I might not be able to stream Battlegrounds. So I'm thinking of doing my uh, Sausage Squad Battlegrounds stream on Thursday instead. Uh, so I thought, what can I do for this one? And then I saw that there was a brand new PSVR horror game coming out. And you know how much I like my PSVR horror games. Uh, so I thought I'd check out Don't Knock Twice. It launched today. It's based on a film called Don't Knock Twice, which I haven't seen. I watched the trailer and it looks generic Atron, uh, generic horror Atron. Um, and a couple of people have been pointing me in the direction of uh, a review that says it's like scrapes a 6 out of 10. So I'm not expecting too much, but uh, I do like playing PSVR horror games and uh, slagging them off if they're really bad. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing for the next however long this game takes because I'm going to be wearing the virtual reality helmet of fun. I won't be able to read as many of your comments, so before I stick that on and jump into the game, I'm going to give some shout outs and see who's watching. Uh, we've got Trent Gander, we've got Dougie the Reverse Pro Gamer, who's knocked twice. Shit! <laughs> Whoa, whoa, it's warm down in hell, I tell you. Uh, we've also got Crosshair, we've got Michael Patterson, we've got Stroyer, Jumbo Jimbo, uh, Michael Patterson, Connor McConville, Nightcat, I think I said, Matthew Folds, Lad Teammaker, Jack Moulton, Stroyer. First time in a month, Stroyer's been back to us. Welcome back, sir. Vicky Warren, still alive. Uh, loads of regular names popping up. Ambient Surprise, Jorgensha. Hello, Jorgensha. And... Uh, We've got 28 people watching in total, so welcome. Right, I'm going to don the helm of truth, pick up the wand of sausages, and then I'm going to get into this crazy game and see what it's all about. Like I said, I'm not going to read too many comments. I'm going to try my best to um, convey how the game feels to me. Because uh, obviously the, the, the picture... The picture you'll be seeing on your screen right now is uh, it's, it's not going to be the best resolution because PSVR games, when you stream them, it kind of cuts the resolution in half. And also, um, you don't get a sense of scale. So hopefully I'll be able to kind of bring across the sense of scale as well. Hello, Jonathan. Hi, Brendan Quinn. No, I can't have said, just making sure. Kurt Melrose, before I stick the helmet on. Crusty Juggler, as well. Welcome. All right, we're going in. We're going deep. We're going to knock twice. I'm going to knock three times, just to piss this crazy witch off. Oh, my God, that's loud. That's super loud. Let's turn that down a little bit. Not too much, because I want to get the vibes. Uh, so... I need to centre my view, like so, and I need to select with X. That's a new game. So at the moment it's just 2D for me, which is why you don't have any weird black borders on the screen yet. Still 2D. I think I enabled VR. If I didn't, I'll have to re-enable it. And that might mean you get to see my pyjama buttons, because I'm lounging around in my scrubs today. It's one of the benefits of working from home. My my uniform is uh, it's my pyjama bottoms in the summertime. And my dressing gown in the wintertime. So this is by a company called Wales Interactive. Not sure what else they've made, but I'm pretty sure they're not a big studio. What I'm hoping is this isn't just a cheap movie cash-in. Um, one thing that's really ruining the PSVR at the moment is the amount of shitty cheap cash-in titles <laughs> that, are, uh, that are crowding the marketplace. You get a couple of gems here and there, 
but there's a lot of just kind of almost seem like rush jobs going on there just to you know cash in while P while VR's hot. Moss, I played Moss at Gamescom. That was a lovely game. I enjoyed that a lot. So maybe this will be like Moss. Ooh. Ooh. That just did an insane bright flash in front of my eyeballs. Okay, cool. Let me just double check. Can you see that? Okay, yeah, you can see that. Ooh. Uh, seems alright. Double check. It, does, it looks a little bit dark. Perhaps maybe it's just my monitor. It looks lighter in the game than it does on the stream. I wonder if I can. I want to kind of lighten it up a little bit. Press and hold to begin teleporting. I'll do that in a second. Settings. Graphics options. Brightness gamma. Let's bring the gamma up a bit. Let's bring the brightness up a bit. Maybe increase the field of view a bit. Some good options. Alright, apply. Back. Resume. Okay, hopefully that'll be a little bit a little bit better for you a lot. Okay, green or what? Is round did I see? And Molo, hello. Okay, so we are ready. You if you've just tuned in now, you have not missed anything yet. I'm just about to start. It says press and hold to begin teleporting. Aim at the floor and release to teleport. So there we go. I've teleported right next to this door. Wait, press to outstretch your hand. Wait, what do you mean press to outstretch your hand? One knock to wake her from the bed. Twice to raise her from the dead. Press to read note. Wait. Huh? I see it brings up like a little text. Just in case. You can't read that. Yes. The thing, the weird thing, like PSVR, the headset's quite low resolution, so things far away look a little bit like blurry. But when you put things close to your head, you can really see how, like, um, sharp the actual the, the models are. If the PS, if there's a like a, a version two. Of the PSVR headset that was much more like you know better, better resolution. That would be lovely. I've got to lean forward and one, two. Object. <laughs> it's this game. I've got a telephone. Leave me alone. Leave me the fuck alone. Oh, okay. Press to rotate right. Okay, Chloe, leave me a back alone. Oh, shit, I didn't... Hold on. Your phone is now in your pocket. You can grab it any time. So, I didn't realise I need two of these controllers. I was wondering what that was floating in front of my head. Hello, Daniel McCauley. Okay, so we've got two hands. A one hand, a two hand. Oh, ha, ha. Oh, ha, ha. Oh, ha, ha. Fuck. What was that? Nothing, nothing important. All right, so um, yes, the room we're in is quite. It's a tall. It's a tall house. It is like a big posh old house. Your little sofa here, and can I only rotate right? So I can only. <laughs> on, on, on. Oh, so that's how you reach and grab stuff from a distance. Okay, that's interesting. Hong, hong. Go, go, gadget hands. That is a good game that they should make in VR. Inspector Gadget. Right, sorry. So rotate to the right. And let's wait. Oh, oh fuck. I've, I've, tele I've teleported. I've teleported into the level geometry, <laughs> and uh, it's like if I look, 
away. A sofa appears. But if I look at it, it disappears. What if this is part of the game? Ghost sofas! So I've accidentally teleported into the geometry of the game. We can now see outside. A lot of attention to detail has been uh, spent on the skybox there. It's two identical, three identical clouds, copy and pasted. Uh, let's, can I, have I, f oh, I'm back out. It's okay, I survived. Right. It's annoying that you can only rotate right. Okay, let's, hold on. Zoop. Zoop. How do I read it? I can't remember. Was it that one? Ah. Situated in the northern edge of the Welsh Valleys lies a stunning example of understated architecture. It took its style from the late 19, uh, 700, 1700s as its core is a medieval, medieval rectangular tower. Oh, at its core, and an inner courtyard which consists... which can I can't bloody read this. Connects the unusual layer of the building consisting of an entrance hall... Uh, drawing room, kitchen, breakfast room, and a games room. Attached to the rear of the house is a restored chapel which is currently being used as an art studio. The house is grey to list building and recently underwent a comprehensive renovation by the new owners, the Webb Thomas family. Whoop! Whoop, whoop! If I hold it by my groin. Whoop, whoop! That's it. it looks very, I don't know if it looks rude to you lot, but it does to me. Whoop! Uh, okay. Let's go check out the computer. Zweep. Can I three? Oh. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, come on. What are you playing at video game? Let's leave that like that. We have got I can tell I can tell. Guys and girls, we got something of weeping dull standard here. Uh, yeah, I won't be reading any loot, that's for sure. Not today. How's the... is it light enough? It still looks pretty dark. You look... Oh, sorry. Keep it going for now. I'm very good at breaking games, so... Is that a mug down there? Zoink! Oh, it is. Uh, uh. Got myself a mug. No clues on the mug. Screw you, mug. Nice! That was alright. Okay, what is... What? what? So I've, I've turned the laptop inside out. Is this turning me to the right? No, it's rotating. It's rotating me to the left. Okay, one hand is left, one hand is right. I get you. God, say so, what? Takes me a long time to learn things. Pick up the candlestick and illuminate your way. Okay. Hi. Shit. Okay, so that just fell down on its own. Was that a ghost? Who knows? Boop. There we go. Door opened over there. Got a ghost stick. Oh. Okay. Who's knocking? Is that coming from the window? Hello? You're going to make me jump? Dark. Yep, you made me jump. Well done. I think that was a dead bird flying into the window. The old horror trope. Uh, 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 that way, God, why can't they just let me free move? Private and confidential. 
for the <laughs> ah the the flame is a solid the flame is solid <laughs> Burn your bloody house down, you spooky poops. Hello, Mark. Jump scares already. How sad, says Arena Rock. Well, it is a horror game. It's got to have some jump scares. Okay, so we're going out the door. What? Do I have to push it? Ah, yes. I've got to fist it open. Whoa. Why did you turn the power off? I hate you, says Chloe. Wow, Chloe's a mega douche. Where are we going? I mean... Level-wise, it's pretty bland. It's no Resident Evil 7 in terms of set design and um, just like the, the I don't think that's like in in terms of set design or the fact that you know it feels like someone's lived here. There's no carpet for a start. It's just a beige, a beige floor. No, I've been in there. Ah. Oh. Oh, it's really confused. Turning in this game is well confusing. Can I... Go like that? Yeah. Check that shit out. That shit. We got some in... That door just opened on its own. <gasps> Spooky! Alright, let's grab this. What's this say? The story behind award-winning artist and sculptor Jessica Webb Thomas. Since I was nine years old, I knew I wanted to be an artist. I'm fascinated by the bonds we make as humans. The strongest bond is between the mother and her baby. No, it's between Ian and his kitty cat. I'm a vampire. Confirmed. Story spoilers. I'm a vampire. Push it open. Oh, fist it. Fist it good. More powerful fisting. There we go. So I needed to put a little bit of weight behind my fisting. Um, some spooky paintings, but again, the landscape looks a little bit basic. I'm gonna. Oh, no, I do. Oh. What is it? Something was there by the door. You bastard. Okay, what have we got here? Boink. Uh, Department of Health and Social Services, Division of Child Welfare, Temporary Custody. Dear Mrs. Jessica Webb Thomas, please accept this letter as a form of agreement regarding Chloe. And Webb, in the light of evidence provided and with the consent of Chloe, we are happy to inform you you are able to arrange a custody trial with your daughter. Once a staging period has been agreed, we will send you a final letter of confirmation. Okay, that's onwards. Onwards. Do anything with that? No. Guess we'll try. No, can't fist my way through that. What about this? Oh, fisting! Ooh. Outside. I, I, I feel like there's lots of this place I'm yet to like check out. I mean.
That's locked. All right. Let's go and see what's outside. Is it going to put my candle out? It's not. The floor looks nice now. The reflections are good. That's a nice. I like it. Reflection of the moon. Looks quite realistic. It's a big old. Uh, I don't know what that is? Something keeps. So I think I've got the vibe here from this. Game. Something keeps knocking twice, and I guess I'm gonna have to look and find it, and then it's gonna scare, scare my balls off. I had a fucking. What is this? Is it a breakfast cereal? What are you? What are you? Bird seed. Check that out. Let's pour some more bird seed on there. Nom nom nom. Oh, it's floating away. Nom, 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 nom. Didn't have my dinner today. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, I see you. What are you doing up there? I see you. Oh, she's just texted me on the phone. What are you saying? Chloe, you're going to dump me again, aren't you? You selfish biatch. Fuck whistle. That was a creepy noise. Okay, well I fed the birds. Let's go over Let's try it down here. Oh, oh, what was There a bird? There's a bird on there now. Burp. I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna catch the bird. Can't catch the burb. Punch it in the ass though. Boing 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 boing. Punch in the burb in the ass. Can I set fire? <gasps> I just set fire to the bird. <gasps> Is it still alive? <laughs> what the fuck? He's alive again. I've made it live. It's kind of alive. This is really fucking weird. Was I supposed to do that? Its wings have gone all fucked up. I don't even know if I was supposed to do that. Come on, bird friend. It's me and you now. Be free. Maybe I can... Oh, yes. Okay, can I get a three pointer? <gasps> Damn it. This time, go for a one pointer. <gasps> Maybe I need to do like a an overarm. Uh, huh! I'm going to have to check out the comments. Find a companion and Ian kills it. I hope you can see this all right. It looks, yeah, it looks like it. you can just about make it out. Well, come on, bird. You're coming with me and the candle. There's got to be a reason why I could set fire to the bird. Oh, fuck. I'm in the door. Oh, no. 
the burb. Oh no! I dropped the I dropped the bird through the door. Goodbye, bird. Goodbye, bird friend. Bye, bye, bird friend. Fuck. Okay. Well, we don't have. We no longer have bird friend. Go this way though. Fisting. Fist it. There we go. Have a quick look at this one. Pretty sure we're not gonna be able to Oh fuck. What the Okay. I just I seem to have pulled the fence off and now there's an invisible wall stopping my candle. So I guess I can't go that way. It's vibrating incredibly weirdly there after I pulled it off. This is top this is top notch. This is this is excellent top notch quality VR here. Stop it! You can tell that they have spent a, oh shit, a lot of time on this. Especially those floor textures. Fuck! Window. No, it's not a window. It's a thing. Let's grab this book. Okay, book says... Chloe's diary. She dumped me all those years ago and now she just waltzes back into my life and expects me to carry on like everything's okay when it's not. I just wish she left me the fuck alone. She's trying to wow me with her fancy job and her big new house but there's no hiding the truth. She abandoned me and I can't stop hating her for that. We're strangers now. She's not fit to be a mother and she'll probably just send me back to the home once she's tired of me. Oh, what's that little book thing? bit rude reading the diary. Um, <laughs> 50 people watching. Hello all 50 of years. Welcome to platform 32. I'm playing a I'm playing a horror game and the candles are just blown out. That's not good is it? Um, so we've oops So, back in here to like the fuck. Back in here to light the candle, maybe. That lamp wasn't there before. So that lamp wasn't there before, and it wasn't clipped through the table. You naughty lamp. Uh, that laptop was though. Let's clip that back through the table. Whoop. Because if there's one thing I hate, it's video game objects obeying real life physics and rules. No mirror there, even. No reflection in the mirror there. Um, okay. Shove my. Oh. Oh, I think that I think that blood on the floor's new. Is it? I don't know. Let's extend my fist into the oh shit into the flames. There we go. Candles back. Oh Christ! Oh, these things all. I don't know if. Is that a thing I can pick up? Oh shit. Right. So I don't know whether these things are meant to be haunted. 
look at this. Look at that. It's two lamps merged into each other. What is this? Amateur hour in the 3D assets department. Let's try and... Oh, fuck. That didn't like doing that, did it? Look at that. That's good. How many things can we put inside this lamp? Oh, jumped out. So, kind of going in there. Stay. Stay inside the lamp. Oh, bugger. Oh, f oh, oh God. I'm going to get so told off when the owner of this house gets back. Go on, get in there. Merge with it. There we go. Siamese lamp. I have created life. A Siamese lamp. Okay. So I've got my thing lit again. So let's, let's carry on. Let's carry on. To maybe I can go in here now. Okay, something creaked. Something gone done. Did it? There we go. So. Seems like a bit of a weird waste of a wall, that. You could have put some shelves or a door there, but you didn't do anything. You just left it as a little nook. We get to go upstairs. Nice. Dong dong. Kong dong. Now where, where would I, oh there's, oh there's, oh there's lots of blood on the floor and it leads upstairs. Where does this door lead to then? Ooh. What are you? Ghost fart. Guess that's uh, this game's collectibles, maybe. Very bear house. This is this is one of the things that's not sitting too right with me in this game, is because everything seems a bit too bare. Maybe people have just moved into it. I don't know. But if you're gonna make a VR game, you've got to make this. You got to make the spaces feel lived in. Sorry, I thought I saw that painting move. Another child goes missing. Local boy is one of many children to go missing in recent weeks. He was last seen knock knock run with his friends. Well, he knocked twice, so that was his first mistake. Let's check out this piano. It's got a, it's got a lock on the piano. So, can we just, like, get the car out of this house? No, this house doesn't have a door handle. It doesn't... Of course. All these, uh, future... Oh. Oh, look, the texture is, like... I don't know if you can tell, but this splatter blood texture isn't flat on the wall. There's, like, about an inch... kind of comes up at an angle. It's about, like, an inch off the wall there. Uh, so we've got like a hand mark here, and then a dodgy texture there. Well done. Uh, no, nothing in there. No more crazy dolls. How's everyone doing? Are you all are you all scared? Are you all scared? Ian is totally not concerned with the storyline at all, just fucking shit up, says Cali Warner. I am fucking shit right up. Why hasn't Ian tried to knock on anything twice? That is a good question. Uh, first, let's try and kill some more wildlife.
Come here, moth. I'll try and extend my fist and grab it. Grab, grab. Grab, 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 grab. No, you can't grab the moth. You can, you can kind of touch the flame to it, but it doesn't burn it. Hold on. What? Let me knock twice then. That did nothing. Okay. Uh, this one's locked. All right. Onwards. Hello, I'm a vampire again. Quite like the the smear effect on the mirror. That's quite nice. It's quite, wait, what is this? Oh, okay, so just teleported myself up the stairs. There's something glowing over there. Can I? Okay, can't open them. Let's go over here and boing. Yeah. What is this? What is that? What is that? Me? Who's the coolest in the land? I am. I am. Who's the bestest in the games? I am. In the games? At the games? I am. I am. Who's the loveliest viewers in the world? You are. Oh shit. <laughs> I've gone all the way over here. Let's go back here. It would, it would have to be this way anyway. You are. You are. What is this? Methadone! Sweet! Now we're going to get the party started. Going to light a few more candles. Whack some methadone down my throat. I'm going to get shit face. That's for Miss J. Webb Thomas. Oh. Put this in my pocket. Save that for party. No. Oh. Alright then. Let's try and oh shit. Let's try and fist this one open. Fuck. Don't work. After all that, let's keep going. It's an interesting reflection. Kind of works. It's like a. What they've done is they've put a square box in here and then like laid a flat image of the back hall. So it almost gives the impression it's a mirror, but if you look into it, it's not really a mirror. Okay, we've got, got some creepy noises starting. Wow. This is 20,000 leagues under the sea. I can't read anything. Let's, uh, wait. Go and let's read. What is this here? So this says missing child, nine-year-old boy, height four one, color brown. Date missing, 2016. Last seen wearing a dark red jumper. Be nice if they uh, be nice if they listed his name. So we know what to call him and we find this missing child. Okay, let's keep going. Hello you, you look posh. Hello. Oh, there's a little bit of light reflection in the in the mirror there. Making me feel less like a vampire. That's what we know. That the mirror though, the the reflection of the mirror is again. It's just like a little it's just like a box with a painting of the hallway in, inside. It's kind of it's kind of cute, in a way. Okay, that door just opened. That one there. It's another uh, non-o door. Okay, what 
beds in here. What have we got in here? This is quite a nice sized bedroom. Got a fireplace, lovely. It's quite a nice ornate fireplace, lovely marble effect. They've got a rug down here. No telly though. Who doesn't have a telly in their bedroom? It's a jeans. Shoot! Some jeans down on the floor. Chloe's diary. How many bloody diaries have you got, Chloe? I had a dream last night after I was found messing around after I was messing around with that ritual shit I found. It wasn't exactly a dream, more like I was reliving a memory. The scariest door appeared in front of me. It had a goat head on it, which was really creep which really creeped me out. The missing children, the ones from the news, were waiting just outside the door, and I'm shouting, Don't knock the door two loud bangs and I wake up in a puddle of sweat. Good job it was sweat. I know it was just a dream, but the Baba Yaga is nonsense. Oh, and the Baba Yaga is nonsense, but it all felt so real. Do you know what else is going to feel real? Me burning a di- oh. Me burning a diary. It's there. Goodbye diary. Dear diary. Jackpot. Spooky doors. Okay. Ooh. So we've got we've got we've got more laptop fun abound. Let's find out what this is first. I was a drug addict. I hate those words, but it's the truth. When I was really bad, I figured you were safer with someone else looking after you. I tried to get back to you sooner. I really did, but they wouldn't let me. They said I wasn't ready, but I'm ready now. I love you, Chloe. So, Mama was a druggie. <clears throat> oh! Oh, they've got physics on this table. Nice. Well done. One out of two is not bad, I guess. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't program a, a bed, let alone a table that actually worked, but still. I'm not charging for games. Uh, what is this here? Jess and Chloe. But it's been ripped. Anything on the back? No, just the same old guff. Hello. Oh, this is a bloody big walk-in wardrobe, this is. Oh, that was kind of creepy. I can't bloody get it. Can't ruddy bloody get it. Oh, drop my bloody ruddy candle. Extend. Uh, Chloe, what the fuck is going on? Is someone here? I'm going to smash all your shit. So that was kind of creepy. The boxes fell down. There's nothing in them. Let's tidy. Let's tidy it up a bit. You get in there. Get in. Get in there. Oh fuck it. Can't pull it. Okay. We're going. Uh, light my candle again. Extendo! Extendo fist. I want an extendo fist in real life. How's everyone doing? Was there a face in that mirror, says Trent Gander? Oh, I don't know. Let's go and have a double check. Oh, fuck! I just oh, walked myself inside the geometry of the room again somehow. Just a black mirror. It's a black mirror now. 
whether it was before whether there was a face in it before I don't know I think this was the room that Chloe was looking out the window of oh wow oh wow what is going on with the textures outside the window god that's rough that is the fuck is that there's a cage up there. I didn't remember seeing a cage hanging up there before. Let's see if I can... Whereabouts I can wedge myself in. There's definitely a cage out there. Oh, it's like attached by a chain. That's new. I don't know how long that was there. Maybe I just didn't look up. Oh fuck! I'm in the thing again. God damn, this is this is a wonky game. Oh, spooky poops! I mean, it's not really that scary. Is that supposed to be a mirror? Again, these walls are just kind of plain and boring. Maybe that would have made me scared if the environment was a bit more... creepy. Oh, hello. There we go. We've got some... She's mine. Wait, where's the... She's mine? Where did the... Where did the cage go? Oh, look at... The... That is a lot of. That is a lot of muck. Uh, so, oh, now the writing's gone as well. Okay, interesting. Playing mind games on me, are you, ghost? Well, screw you. I'm too much of an idiot to understand them. Tick tock, tick tock. Hello, grandfather. What's this say? Jess's diary. I wish Ben was here. It's not the same when he's away. He's been my rock through all of this and so supportive of Chloe's custody case. He's right when he said you can't change the past and what matters is that I'm trying to do the right thing now. The scariest thing about having a child, it's not the pain or the sleepless nights, it's the love. And nobody prepares you for that. I loved Chloe when she was born, when I was high. When I gave her up, even when I was a thousand miles away, and I love her now. She's mine, and I'll never let anybody take her from me again, except for the ghosts that just took her. So, it sucks to be you, Jess, you bad mom. Jess is a bad mom. Now where are we? Ooh. It's... Spooky chapel. Wait a minute. Is that a statue? Or a person? I'm going over here because I... Oh. Wow. I bet there's an achievement for lighting all the candles in the game. I totally haven't done it. Oh. I don't know one of these little thingies. Russian Russian doll got slightly smaller that time. Maybe there's going to be a tiny little Russian doll to find. Still down there. Looks a little bit like it's moving. Yep, let's go down. That's a lovely puddle. Oh, that door's closed. What's wrong? I think it's a statue. I mean, I don't see anything untoward here. Just some ritualistic symbols on the on the floor. No, no, can't get out of that. Just a pagan sacrifice. Nothing to worry about. Is that pizza? 
the fuck could I... Of course, of course I'm the one that notices the pizza. I mean, if you're going to have a pagan sacrifice in the middle of your haunted house with chapel, I mean, you might as well whack a pizza down your gob and maybe some some key key cola and some dark something I mean shit I don't want to go to any any kind of uh, summoning parties there's no pizza it's not how I roll if any of you lot have a summoning party just remember pressing the wrong direction again remember to bring the pizza who's this this is Jessica Webb Thomas Sapphire Art Award winner 2016 back water from well to cleanse the souls of the innocent she devours what that's what's written is it the water from the well to cleanse the innocents she devours. Oh my god, I clipped into the table and sent the pestle and mortar flying. Oh well. Wait, can I? I kind of want that. No, oh, what? Come back. I want the candle. And I want that. And I want my cat. Where the fuck has my candle gone? Don't be like this. There's no... There's no, there's no need for you to be like this video game. What a lovely flower. I'm going to put it on my head. <laughs> that doesn't work. Alright. Onwards. Let's uncover the mystery of the Great Chapel. With its exquisite artwork. And its spooky poop. That's how going to come alive taking a cup to throw its face when it does. You fuck statue. Boop! Boop, boop, boop! Boop, boop, boop! Boop, 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 boop! Maybe it didn't. <gasps> I bet I've got to pull some... I bet I've got to pull that blanket off and it's going to be like... wobble dub 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 What's this here? Reading, fuck's sake, what is this? A book or a horror game? Jess's Diary, 11th of October. It's been so tough the past few days. Chloe hates me and I don't blame her. I'm trying to make it up to her, trying to make her see that I'm not the same person who was unfit to look after her all those years ago. Letting them take her away from me was the hardest decision I could ever make, but it was the right one. I needed help. Sometimes... Even now, when I can't sleep, I ache for another fix. Thank God I have my work to distract me. I spent hours last night in the studio working on my latest sculpture. I'm still not happy with the concept, but it's slowly getting there. I just wish the same could be said about my relationship with Chloe. Wait, what? Did that have a turny page? That had a turny page noise. Yeah, yeah. Was there another page to read? No, it's just the noise it makes when you when you drop it. All right, let's let's crank this bad boy. Why can't I let me let me crank you? There we go. Oh, oh, that was some good crank. Nothing like a good. Crank to Whoa. That was some that was some crazy ejaculate from that crank. God, I keep turning on my Hello. 
absolutely no idea what that was all about. Can I? Can I? Can I? No. I presume I don't need to take the candle. Uh, the, the handle. What's that? There. What are you? What are you? Better Homes and Gardens Decorating Book. Paintings. Lampy lamp. Can't touch the lampy lamp. Okay. Hmm. What the? So you're just going to float there now, are you? Cup. Fine. Let's make that noise. Um, statues move. Why is that lamp on? Ah, uh, fuck it. So, I guess I've got to get an eye. A fart. A big fart. And a fire. To do the... Oh! Oh! Jesus Christ! Fucking baby. Chloe, why are you doing this to me? I wish you would... De Jesus Christ, Chloe. So that's what that noise was. It was the... Uh, fucking... Statue baby's gone. And decided to, like, try and... Grab my face. I'll give that a... Five for... Uh, Scare factor and a two for a jump scare originality. <laughs> LMAO the baby attacks a spider spike. That was a pretty, pretty ridiculous baby scare. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, God. In Slavic folklore, Baba Yaga is a supernatural being who appears as a deformed, ferocious looking woman. She is the most ancient kind of witch, truly dark. She dwells in purgatory and feasts on children. She cannot just simply go and prey on children to eat. They have to be given to her in the form of a sacrifice. This ritual, she believed, would give her the power over death itself. Well, and what is this here? What is this? Oh, press to fire the flamethrower. Oh. 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 That is good. Wait. Bloody. Wrong way. Right, right. Turn to the right. Ooh. Look at you. Ooh. Oh, that is an unsettling noise. Oh, look at you. Oh, oh, the, oh, they've turned around to look at me. What? You jokers. Oh. Look at this burning, burning down the house here. It's just a jump to the left. Is this the scary... Oh, this is this this is the hallway I couldn't get past earlier. Where I ripped the doors off the hinges, and they and it won't let me out. Mm. Pretty sure you shouldn't be making that noise, chap. All right, we're going. What, what the? Do I have to? Oh, 
Oh, I've done it again. I'm, 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 I'm outside the, outside the level. Well, what do you know? It's a lot less scary on the outside. Can I? Okay, right. Let's. Okay. Not that way. Maybe I do have to go outside. Okay, let's drop the candle. Oh no. Okay. This is good. We got it. We got it. Holding on to all my stuff. Dear life. Hey, it's you. I can't. Won't let me find my phone. Whoa, you've got superpowers. Whoa, whoa, I want superpowers. Okay, well, I guess we're going back inside to rescue Chloe. Yeah, I bet you want your drug dealer mom now, don't you, Chloe? Oh. Okay. Chloe. Uh, I can't read it. I'm really fucking scared. It's come for me. This is all my fault. Do you know what, Chloe? I've got to give respect to Chloe there. She didn't make any spelling mistakes there. And, you know, she was typing that from a portal to hell so you know props props to Chloe and her ability to spell what the hell is that looks like a weird spider thing I'm gonna put you on that I'm gonna put you on that I'm gonna have a look at this Front, Chloe, age nine, with her favourite doll, Ruby. Back, fire to cook her cold, dead heart. Bloody hell. What's this? Spiritual... Oh, shit. Spiritual summoning ritual. Oh, fuck. Come on. Spirit gemstone, amethyst, sapphire, ruby, emerald, diamond. Gotta get spirit, water, fire, earth, and air. I think I've already worked that out, you know. Now, here's the real test of this game. If I can play pool in this game, I'll take back all the mean things I've said about it. Oh, shit. Chloe, I'm sorry. Please help. I didn't mean what I said. It's too late now, Chloe. Mummy doesn't love you anymore. Come on. Grab it. Yes. <gasps> It's kind of, kind of can't hold it with two hands, but yes. I, uh, I forgive you for being shit, game. Actually, the ball physics aren't the best. Can I, can I pot a ball? Yes, potted one. Yay! There it is. In its incredibly solid pocket. All right, let's go around. Yeah. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, boy. Oh, oh that burnt back. Dangerous darts. Oops. That's that's bobbins. What's this? One, ground floor, two, drawing room, four, games room, five, basement. I think I've been to all these places. Just getting a light and have a look. I haven't been to the basement, I don't think. Entrance hall. Q. 
kitchen. Have I been to any of these rooms? I don't know. Quite a big house. Let's take these. Off we toddle. Let's go see what we can see. Do I need the flamethrower anymore? Not sure. I am not sure. Vernon Thomas on behalf of Jessica Webb Thomas, to whom it may concern, I've known Jess for over five years now and we've been lovingly married for the last three. It is with great honour and privilege that I write this character reference for my wife. She is my soulmate and a passionate, loving and caring woman. She is a soldier's crown, my voice of reason, and I would be proud for her to be the mother of my children. I believe that depriving Chloe from Jess is depriving everything that she has to offer and the chance for her to make amends. We know mistakes were made a long time ago and truly believe that Jess will do anything to assure Chloe is safe, happy and loved. She has turned her life around and become a success and I truly believe she deserves a second chance to be with her daughter. Sincerely, Ben Thomas. Excellent, Ben. Good work, sir. Sticking up for your wife like that. Well done, you. Have a cookie. Basketball there. All right, where are we off now? That's some padlock. That's a spooky door opening. That is just a real... another copy of Twenty Thousand Leagues. Got all these bookshelves, nothing on them except for multiple copies of Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. Open Sesame. Oh, oh, hit my mic there. That was spooky poops noises. Where am I now? Oh, I'm here. Okay, what's the deal? <laughs> Hello. What's happening to me? In the kitchen, the doll. It burns! Okay, I can't remember which way the bloody kitchen was. Uh, I think it was that way. This one? Damn it. No, in here. Give me a map. Christ. On a bike. Is this the way to the kitchen or I think this is outside I've I've got lost already so the only way there's locked that is your main room that is where I came from that is the what's it that is the Bloody, bloody lost. Ruddy, bloody lost. I've done, I've done that one, right? It's locked, locked now, anyway. Oh, just open. What? Oh. That's all gone weird, look. I wonder if all the paintings have started to do that. So, after God, oh, you're you're mine. I'm hers. Who's mine? 
Who am I? I'm mine. You are mine. Ah, here we go. Look. Here we go. Not even sure I need this flamethrower anymore. <laughs> right. What a stupid ass flamethrower. Right. You. Okay. Kitchen. I'm in the games room. Kitchen is that way, so I need to go through that room door, through this little room, up into here, into the entrance hall, and then to the kitchen. Okay. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> so rude. How's people doing? Drop the flamethrower. Does the flamethrower even work anymore? It's gone out. Drop it, says Nightcat. Okay. Yeah, doesn't seem to do anything, does it? I'll just, like, not throw it. Okay. I've got rid of the flamethrower. Remember, it's by the pool table, just in case we do need it again. Now you open. What the f shit? Piston, piston, kitchen to the kitchen. Ah, oh, yes, it's the kitchen with the crazy moth. Spooky plates. It's going to cost a lot to repair that fridge. What was a page torn out? There was a young woman bullied and teased by all the other people in her village. She was always alone and longed to be a mother and have a child to love and care for. As she grew older, she became more and more of a recluse. Children used to prank her, knowing she yearned for a child and would knock on her front door and run away. It is said that this is what drove her insane. In her insanity, she made a deal with a demon, that demon being the Baba Yaga. A deal was made to grant the woman a wish. A child. In doing so, she had to serve the Baba Yaga by making sacrifices to her. As the village children taunted her, she sought revenge on them by putting a curse on her front door. By doing so, condemning the child who knocked her door to be the chosen sacrifice for the Baba Yaga. Spooky. Spooky poops. That's what the... Ooh, yes. October 2016 there on the calendar the, the doll is burning in the oven as you'd expect because that's what dolls are for oven burns Get the doll out! Get the doll out! Clonk, clonk, clonk! Ooh, I see you. Goodbye. Hey. 
Okay. At least another another ghost fart. There's another axe. Maybe this one will work. No. 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 Who the f keeps two axes in their kitchen? Clong, 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 clong! You can use the axe to open locked doors by chopping the handles off. Oh, there we go. So does... Oh! Oh! Can I, oh, can I get the axe in the oven there? No. No. Okay, let's chop the... Oh, shit. <laughs> Ooh. Duh. Come on. Oh, this little mouse just ran right through the. Can I? Oh, oh, I am. Oh, I'm so strong. Oh, look at me. Oh, I'm a beast. Yeah. Oh, holy shit. I'm just going to fist this wall down. Yeah. Fucking. Don't mess with me if you're a wall. Look at the speed I'm demolishing this. It's all coming down. Come on. Oops. Should be able to get through now, maybe. Probably not the best thing to have stood next to with this uh, candle. Just uh, dead end. No, no, no dead nuns behind there. No. I mean, this part's kind of creepy. Being in the the. The wall space of the house, I guess. Oh, you've you've gone and closed the door on me, have you? There we go. Let's just turn the oven off. Yes. Let's get the burnt doll. Clap, clap, clap. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's. The fuck has that turned into? Oh, it's the. Just turned. Oh. Completely frosted up. How the hell can I? A secret way through here. How the hell did I miss a Missed a way through, didn't I?
Uh... Oh, shit, sorry. Hit my mic. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's getting hot in my headset. <laughs> this is a masterpiece, you're correct. Um, okay, uh, I'm just going to leave the candle there for a second and see if I can, like, I don't know. Maybe there's a way to... Maybe there's a way to... I can, maybe there's a way... Let me get my candle back. That's not my candle. Maybe there's a way to glitch through. How the fuck am I supposed to get out of this room? There's only one... I've really got to put my head inside it now. There's only one door. How did my candle get there? am I missing? Anyone got any ideas? Chop through the wall in the dark closet. I'll give it a try, Trent. I'll give it a try. The wall in here. Maybe you're right, because this would lead to just like a. <laughs> Whoa! That actually made me jump a little bit and also stare at her weird saggy boobs. There we go. Good work, Trent Gander. This one's for Trent. Boom! Oh, I lifted up a bag with that one. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah. Screw your shit doors. Come on, clink clong. You can go there. Ooh. Front, Jess and baby Chloe, happy times. Back, the right note is the key to find the spirit of the servant. Nice. The right note. There we go. That's nice and easy. Oh. Oh. Come in with me, Axie. Don't even know if that was locked. Just wanted to just wanted to do it. Question one. Why would your toilet be in a secret room that can only be opened by pressing a specific key on a piano that was locked. What if you really, 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 really had the bad runs? You just, you make a mess of your pant. Ooh, can I? Come on. Do it. Yes, come on. Be good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Flash that chain. Flash that chain. No. Oh, you've ruined it. We could have had such a good time together, you and I. But you ruined it. By not having a flushable toilet. Just a big tease. Can I... Can't roll the paper down either. Interesting. wasn't not what I expected to happen but we'll do it anyway the boogie man no words for the boogie man uh, so I haven't got anything back here that I can have it oh there we go look hello I'll have you on the floor you go Jesus Christ You're having a laugh there we go what is that out there is that just another that's another random reflecto box. That's another random reflecto box. What are we going to do with it? That's... Wine. Give me that axe. Let's go up into the loft. Then <laughs> spiders. Nope. Oh. We've got another sacrificial what's it, my jobby. Oh, look, it's got a spider in my face. Good job I'm not scared of spiders. Okay, I'm sorry, X. Oh, look at that. That's cool. I like that. You wouldn't like this bit if you don't like spiders. Ooh. 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 Ooh, but you would like this bit if you don't like spiders. They span that web pretty damn quick. Pretty damn sharpish. Oops. Screw your webs. Candles out. Let's go back and get my axe. Big fan. Of, I'm big fan of chopping the door handles off. Is that still going? Candle is still burning, actually. I may have use for it yet. Finally, bedroom with a television. Now we can fucking relax. Oops. What is this? What are you? Folklore of the Baba Yaga tells of the servant's curse. The bearer of the necklace shall do thy demon's bidding. An evil hag's powers are limited on earth, and the needs of the needs the help of human slave of a human slave or cursed soul to carry out her commands. It is said that the only way the servant can be free of the demon is if they kill themselves, or 
if they trick someone else into replacing them by doing something truly evil. Hum. <gasps> Holy shit, son. Yes. Fucking right. Guess that's not <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh God, this is wobble a bit. I'm sorry. Oh, I've dropped it. Drop, dropping it. Sorry, 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 so sorry, sorry. There we go. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Put the phone away. Chloe says, what's happening? Oh, doll burns. Yeah, thanks. Got that one. Don't know what the numbers are. Maybe we'll find out soon. Yeah. Smashing down the... Two axes on the bed now. Scamp. Aha. Uh -huh. There's another bathroom. Another stinky bath. Ooh. 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 Hubble bubble toilet trouble. Get me. Candle, candle's gone out there. Bloody, bloody candle's gone out. You're all making a noise. What are you making a noise for? Front! Ben and Jessica's engagement. Back. Steam reveals the secret to air. Steam. And steam up the window. Here we go. Four. Four eight six two. I mean, how? Like, they must have had never to have cleaned that mirror. Done that once. Never cleaned the mirror. And also. When that painting, when that picture was taken, four years before even moving into this house, they'd have had to know that that was the combination. And I, I don't even, do you know what? It's not even. It, oh, yes. Here's Ian. Well, that's how that's how heroes open doors. What was down here? What was down here? Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Where am I? Uh, back in here. Back in here. I f fucking... I forgot. Bloody see that, and I forgot what the what the code was. Just 
Just watching the stream back so I can remember what the code was. Sixty. All right, four eight six two. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get up well close. Four eight. I like this. This is quite cool. Six two. Kind of actually. Creepy, kind of felt like something was behind me there. Kind of had a little bit of hair sticking up on the back of my neck. That was good. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I tried to, tried to close that. Tried to, tried to close the safe with, 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 with my actual hands in real life there. Still up here. Oh. Here we go. Oh, that is a that is a big carrot. Big carrot weight ring, that. Oh, bloody hell, I've just picked up my axe. Hurry, I can hear it. There's something in the basement. Oh, I'll take my bloody axe to the basement, that's for sure. Boop. Not sure how we get to the basement, but we'll... Extend! Good work, Extendo Fist. Alright, down we go. So we got floaty ring, floaty necklace, floaty cup, floaty baby. One more in the basement. Gonna guess it's this door. It's the dead bird's back! That's where the dead bird's here again. Yay, bird friend! Claw, claw! Claw, claw, claw! Let's fucking let's get dead bird friend on the centre there. There's a live sacrifice there. I have no idea what that had to do with any of the game. Okay, basement. If I was a basement, where would I be? Maybe this is the basement. Yes! Check me out. I found the basement pretty easily. Yeah, again, it's pretty high room. Magical photo mirror. Lovely stuff. I'm so, I'm sorry, so sorry. I did it again. 
so sorry, so sorry. Apologies, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, Fruit Bat. If this game goes on too long, Ian will end up naming the bird Wilson and carrying it around and talking <laughs> to it. Is that Fruit Bat? I think so. We've got 35 people watching, 30 likes. Thank you very much. That is a hell of a good like to viewer ratio. All right. Passed down generation to generation, a tale has been told of a child that strayed too far from their mother in the forest. The child came across a house, the front door guarded by a horned goat. The goat leads the child inside, never to return again. An old woman has been seen wandering the forest for lost children to lead them out to the house. The story always changes, but the goat remains the constant. Let's go slice some... Let's go slay some freaking goats. Pretty creepy. Put a, put a creeper down here. And those little Russian dolls. Oh. Every time I move it, I think the axe tries to clip onto something that's not there or something. It makes it. Oh, that is a terrible hole there. You've got the bloody gateway to hell in your house there. Oh. What's that done? Ah, handle. Wait, all that just to light up the handle? Oh, 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 oh. oh God, who built these handles? They're the worst. It's breaking all the time. Now what? Oh, wait. Hold on a minute. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I mean, it can't go on it. Oh, that's a, oh god. That does feel like I'm on the right place. What is that? Is that? A, the body of a nun in the wall. That's a tree root. Just uh oh uh, uh, some of these move. The fact that it's still got the cement around them. Can I look in? You can give me a little freaky poop scoop when I have a look in. Oh no, it's just gonna cut to black. No, oh, this seems to maybe maybe there's something behind some of the because some of them look movable. Look. That one, there we go. Found it. Found your bloody secret. Found your filthy, dirty secrets. Found your shitty secrets. Chloe, you have them all now. You've got... You got to come now. I think it's coming back for you. Not my axe, it's not. Shit. Who's crying? Stop. 
Nope. As if you can set fire to everything but, like, the crow, but nothing else. What's this? Chloe playing dress up with my tiara. Back. Pull the stones to unearth her rotten flesh. I did the stones. It's one step ahead of you, video gam. Oh! Well, guess Chloe's dead. Let's head home. Goodbye, Chloe. That's creepy. Creepy ball down the stairs. Classic horror movie creepy. Come on. Come on. Come on. I can't remember where I had to get to the ritual room. This way, wasn't it? I punched my laptop there. Charge to the ritual room! My dead burb friend is ready and waiting. Screw Chloe! I'm all about resurrecting the, the birds on fire. <laughs> Oh, oh god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I did it again. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. So sorry. Ian, you should do top five worst PSVR games videos. I think you've already watched me play the worst PSVR games, to be honest. This Ace Banana Weeping Doll. Ah. Oh. Looks like my bird friend's been resurrected. Oh. 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 It's a door. I better fucking don't knock it twice. So you're not supposed to knock it twice, are you? It's just silly. It says everything. Everything up until this point has been saying, don't knock it twice. Can I look through the box? No, I guess I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to knock it twice for that final jump scare, I guess. Even though I know that you're not supposed to. I'd be like, mate, just saw Chloe fall down a hole. Fuck, witches. Oh. Wow. Didn't, didn't, didn't see that one coming. Skulls and shit. Oh, look at the rocks moving on the floor on their own. Super spooky. Flamethrower. Boing, boing. Deeper, deeper, deeper into the spooky cavern we go. Maybe not. Doesn't want to let him run. I would do. Bloody would do if the game had let me teleport. Fucking. like how there's a handy makeshift flamethrower just next to this witch's lair, you know, because why the hell not, huh? Stay away from her, you bitch! Oh. Bloody wrong buttons. 
Oh, uh, fucking. Wait, what? That way. It's got me, got me advancing at a weird angle. Okay, I got crates and cages and shit. Is that Chloe? Is that Chloe? Looks a bit weird. Hey Chloe! <laughs> hey Chloe! What's for dinner? Yo! Ha! Jeebus. Fucking oh, the teleporting mechanics in this are dog shit. I oh, fucking. There's another flamethrower there, isn't it? Maybe I do have to flamethrower this. Oh. I think I just did that. Not let me teleport. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh. Oh, Chloe just. Did you just run off, Chloe? Chloe, oh, seriously, just... After all I've done to her... She just... Seriously, just liked it. Ungrateful child. I'd get there a lot quicker if the teleport mechanics on this one bag of balls. Come on. As the years went by, the mother grub up the blob by how did it break the curse? Did not break the curse, but maybe passed it onto a child. Oh no, I'm locked in. Oh god, no. Now I am in a cage. Humph. Wait a minute. Kill her. Okay. Oh, that doesn't. Oh. Should have tried to smack her fucking smack her in the saggy witch tits. But unknown, you're mine. Shit, son. Just killed my daughter. Whoopsie. What a twist. 
What a twist. What a crazy twist. Wales Interactive. I mean... It was kind of... That last bit was alright with the, the axe and the, you know, saving myself kind of thing. It was... It was, um... A little bit different. Gave a bit of physicality to the proceedings. There were some bits like twisting the safe and things, which were nice. Made it feel like I was actually in a space, but apart from that, everything was far too basic and just like rough that, uh, and broken. They really didn't. Really didn't um, absorb me enough. There was a few jump scares that got me, sure. Um, but I don't know. It's better than it's better than Weeping Doll. But it's definitely definitely ain't no Resident Evil Seven. So yeah, that was the that was the whole game uh, there. It was pretty good. That took just under two hours. It's almost, it's almost eight o'clock. So we did it. Ah, uh, uh, in a horror game, Ian says I like twisting the safe. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, all right. Well, that's me done. You're mine. Um, it looked a lot brighter in, like off, like in here than it does on there. To be honest, but I don't know. The best bits were the mic accidents of Still Life. Yeah, probably true. All right, well, thank you to Still Life, Spider's Bike, Conway4590, Crosshair, at Fruit Bat, uh, Ola Lamark, Vicky Warren, Crosshair, said Spider's Bike, Jonathan, Trent Gander, Ducky the Reverse Pro Gamer, um, it's pretty much the same people chatting. Thank you to you lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this look at Don't Knock Twice. Doesn't get the Ian seal of approval, I'm afraid. I'd sk skip this one if I were you. Uh, it's not, not brilliant. It's a little bit broken. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for, for joining me anyway. Uh, if you did enjoy this stream and you haven't done already, do give it a like, do subscribe and do have a lovely day. I'm off to, to I don't know, do something else. Retro stream tomorrow. I'm finally, finally going to stream this. The CD Games Pack for the ZX Spectrum. I'm going to load 30 Codemasters games from, the, from CD. From a CD player into my ZX Spectrum Plus 3. It's going to blow everyone's minds. I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. 6pm till 8pm right here on Platform 32. Have a lovely night. I hope you... Uh, don't have nightmares. Oh, and don't knock twice. Whoa.